Next up, what we're going to do is create some collision with the snake. So when we play it, currently the snake just flies around the, the field. What I think I'm going to do is, uh, if it hits the edge, we'll have the uh, the game over. Okay. Often what I'll do is I'll create my collision inside a new region. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Start a new region. Zoom in for you. And we'll call this region collision. Alright, so in this collision we're going to have uh, a sub and we will call it collide with walls. Collide with walls. And we'll say if, and then we're going to check, I guess there's four spots you have to check. If, where did my mouse go? If a uh, snake, and it's the head of the snake because it's the, always the one that's moving, so it's always position zero of our array. Uh, dot left, sorry about that, dot left. Snake dot left is less than z um, the field. What did we call our field? PB field dot left. If that's true, then what do we want to do? Let's stop our timer. So TM snake mover uh, dot stop. And then we'll send a message box here. MSG box, you lose. Alright, and we want to repeat that for all the conditions. So I'm going to copy that, paste this one, if snake dot, let's go right, is greater than pb field dot right. If that's the case, stop the timer, tell me they lose. Same deal with, let's do the top dot top is less than field dot top they lose and finally the bottom the beauty of having a plain field is that if you want to make it bigger you can make it bigger uh, or if you want to make you can resize it and you don't have to play around with numbers because this is always this, the way the code is set up is it will always change accordingly alright now when do we want to call this well, we want to call it every tick of a timer. And this is collide with walls. So, every time the snake ticks, or the snake moves, we want to check to see if it collided with a wall. And that would be in this timer here. So we're going to lengthen the snake. This moves it, sorry. And this uh, moves it up and down. So let's just check right here. Uh, we'll go collide. Collide with walls. And we'll check at that point. That should do it. So let's uh, take a look to see if this works. So if we hit play, huh? I got something wrong with my code. Let's figure out what it is. Uh, length and snake. Whoops. Snake mover. Collide with walls. Uh, where did I put my collision now? Oh yeah, collision. Snake dot left is less than the field, that looks good. Snake dot right is greater than the field, that right, looks good. Top is less, oh, right here, bottom. Change that to greater than. The bottom's gotta be bigger. Okay, let's try that. All right, so then we go ahead, we move, let's check the top, bang, you lose. Looks good. And at this point, you could have a replay. I'm not gonna go and check the other ones, I'll just, well, I'll check one more. But I was gonna to assume that it works. And boom you lose. Okay, so that looks good. <coughs> so next, um, let's create the uh, mouse, the target. And remember when the snake hits the target, the snake gets longer and the target moves. So, should we put, what kind of region should I put that in? Uh, we'll just call it uh, region mouse. So I'm going to create a new region going to zoom in for us here. So region, mouse stuff. 
All right, so we want to uh, create the mouse first, okay? In my original game, I think I may have used an image. If you put it in a resource, you can use that. But for now, I'm just going to uh, just create a picture box. So, private sub create mouse. Sub create mouse. Okay, and I guess we need to declare the mouse. So let's do that up here. Dim mouse as picture box. And then in here we'll we'll make that mouse. So uh, mouse is equal to new uh, picture box. Picture box. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my daughter's talking to me at the same time. Um, she's over there. Mouse is equal to new picture box. So next, uh, with statement. So with mouse, and then we go ahead and uh, give the properties of the mouse. So let's give it a dot width and height. Let's make it. I was going to make it the same size as the snake. So ten, I believe, is what I used. Height equals ten. Uh, let's give it a back color, and that's going to go red here. So we got a width, the height. Mm. Maybe we should go random number here and place the mouse. Place yeah, place the mouse randomly on the form. So dot top. I should I could use a random number, except I want to use um, multiples of ten. So dot top is going to be. Let's get a random number between. Well, how big is our form? Now, you know what? I'm just going to take a random number and let it appear anywhere in the form. So, anyways, talking to myself. Uh, random dot next. So, remember, this creates a random number. And we want to have the lower bounds. I just why this didn't appear up. R and D. What did I call my random number generator? Okay, pardon me, I just gotta check to see where I put my no it's not oh R, not R and D. So R dot next. This is the lower bounds, and the lower bounds is always non inclusive. So this is going to be the uh the top of the plane field. So B V field dot top. And then the maximum value as an integer is gonna be P V field dot bottom. Uh, minus 10 and just let's now the same deal for the dot left and that equals r dot next pb field dot left and pb field dot right minus 10. We could get outside our width statement. And <coughs> anytime we create an object, we have to give it controls. Who gives it controls? It's the form. How do you reference the form? It is the word me. Me.controls.add. Who are we giving the controls to? To the mouse. And bring it to the front. Mouse. Dot bring to front. Okay. Now, when do we want to create the mouse? We want to create the mouse when the game starts. So, in our form load. Actually, later, this is probably going to be inside the uh, start button if you have a thing that starts your game. So, we want to create the mouse here. Okay. So, I want to take a look and see if that works. Hey, there's our mouse. All right. Next, let's do collision for the mouse. So I put that in my collision region. Collide with walls. Now we want to collide with mouse. So private sub um, collide with mouse. Now we're going to say if. Now it's not any part of the snake, just the head of the snake, right? So we don't need the whole array. So we'll say if snake at zero uh, dot bounds 
dot intersects with open brackets and then the target in this case it's going to be mouse but what part of mouse was the properties of mouse it is its bounds Oops. bounds if they collide so if that is true then we want to lengthen the snake right so we can length lengthen the s length of snake no we want to lengthen the snake lengthen the snake then we want to randomly assign a new spot for the mouse so let's go uh, mouse dot top equals r dot next you know I'm just going to copy and paste this from over here because it's the exact same stuff so copy that mouse dot top rnd mouse dot left that looks good I don't need this one so we give a new location of the mouse and we want to call collide with mouse every tick of the timer again right so I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit where's where's our timer oh yeah so snake stuff and the timer that moves the snake we want to collide with walls. We also want to check to see if we collide with mouse. Collide with mouse. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and play it. Uh, okay, so bam. Oh. Okay, that's uh, too bad. I'm not very good at this game. That's embarrassing. Let's try this again. If you're looking for a code on how to wrap the snake around the walls, I have it on the uh, my class site, which is a grade 10 computer science course, and I will post it in the comments so you can take a look there. It looks like the snake's getting longer, and that's exciting. Um, Again, if you wanted to play around with how fast a snake is going, it's the interval of the timer. Uh, so let me just go to that. So if you want the snake to go faster or slower, it's the timer interval, which is right here. If you want the snake to go faster or slower throughout the game, you could uh, do increments and decrease the interval there. You can create uh, obstacles. I believe in the example I may have shown you at the beginning, I had some rocks that got in the way. So if you want to do rocks, it'd be very similar to the mouse. All right, create the rock, randomly assign it, and then in the collisions, uh, you're going to create collide with the m the rock. And very similar to this line, except of course if it's true, you don't want to do this stuff. You want to end the game. Um, other things, if you want to keep track of the score, maybe inside your timer which is under snake stuff in your timer you can increment by one a label or a score and that could be the user's score uh, let's see I do have a high score tutorial I believe I have it on YouTube or again I will link it in the comments of this video but I believe that is all I hope you enjoyed the game I hope you enjoyed the tutorial Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.